Developing news tonight from the UT campus. Mac Brown is stepping down as Texas head football coach. We have team coverage of Brown's decision. Adam Winkler and Cassie Gallo have reaction across the 40 acres coming. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bob Ballou. Mac Brown arrived in 1998 and took Texas football from the depths of the Big 12 Conference to the peak of college football. After 16 seasons at the helm, though, Brown has decided it's time for someone else to lead the Longhorns. Brown announced his decision tonight. His final game will come in the Alamo Bowl on December 30th in San Antonio when Texas takes on Oregon. One of his first moves as head coach was to bring legendary head coach Daryl Royal back into the program as a major influence. Brown will end his coaching career at UT either eight or nine wins shy of Royal's win total. Brown brought the motto, come early, be loud, stay late, and wear orange, and the UT faithful bought into it. He has had no win bigger in his 16 seasons than that 2005 national championship win over USC. I don't care about the football part, but, but it's important to me that people know that I have integrity and that I'm honest and I'm going to do what I think is the best thing to do at all times. And, and those are the only thing that's important. Uh, uh, the rest of it takes care of itself. The university released a statement from Brown tonight in part saying, quote, Sally and I were brought to Texas 16 years ago to pull together a football program that was divided. With a lot of passion, hard work, and determination, we did that. We built a strong football family, reached great heights, and accomplished a lot. And for that, I thank everyone. It's been a wonderful ride. Now the program is again being pulled in different directions, and I think the time is right for a change. Brown added, I sincerely want it to get back to the top, and that is why I'm stepping down after the bowl game. I hope with some new energy, we can get this thing rolling again. Brown had a chance to meet with his team during its first bowl practice today, and while none of those players have spoken yet, we spoke with some of Coach Brown's former players tonight. KITV's Adam Winkler is on the UT campus. Wink, how did they react to the news? Bob, before Brown started beating Oklahoma and before he finally won a national championship, Mack was referred to as Coach February. That was a backhanded compliment at his ability to sign top-ranked recruiting classes, but his inability to win on the field with those players. But when the trophy case started to fill up and the 10-win season started to pile up, Mack's moniker of Coach February went away. However, the charisma and personality that earned him that title and all those top recruits did not leave. Brown's ability to develop players, especially the past four years, has come under fire. But the one thing that's tough to question is the mutual respect between Mac and his guys. We caught up with Rod Babers and Quan Cosby, two Texas exes, to ask their initial reaction to the news. Even though I thought there was maybe a chance, it's still a state of shock. You know, uh, guys hit me up and literally said, man, I feel like my girlfriend just broke up with me. And... And that was a perfect description. I was just uh, flummoxed. I mean, I just could not figure out what happened in the last 36 hours that went from Mac Brown staying at the University of Texas to now Mac Brown officially resigning. And now Texas football has become like an episode of The X-Files. The X-Files, of course, a TV show we uh, kind of consider a long-running TV show. The X-Files on the air for nine seasons. Mac Brown here at Texas for 16 seasons. Much more on Mac coming up later in sports. I'm Adam Winkler live at Royal Texas Memorial Stadium. Bob, back to you in the studio. All right, Wink. Now, Brown told us Thursday he was looking forward to sitting down with new UT Athletics Director Steve Patterson to talk about the future and what was best for Texas. Patterson said last night at the team banquet he hoped the two could, quote, get together and be able to work for many years to come. He obviously did not define in what capacity, but Patterson also released a statement tonight about Brown, once again, talking about all the great things Brown has done for UT and then saying, quote, I've had a number of talks with him recently, and he has always said he wanted what's best for the University of Texas. I know this decision weighed heavily on him, and today he told us he's ready to move forward. Fans always have a few things to say when it comes to Texas football, and KITV's Cassie Gallo caught up with some of the UT Rabbit fan base tonight. She's on campus with their reaction. Cass? Well, Bob, after a back and week, after a back and forth week of speculation and reports that Mac Brown was stepping down tonight's official announcement hit campus hard and fast. It's been the talk of campus since the news broke earlier this evening. Social media immediately erupted in a frenzy. That's how most students found out, like the rest of the college football world. On Twitter, there's been some snarky comments, but for the most part, fans are saddened to see the end of an error. A lot of people we talked to, though, felt it was time. Nonetheless, they know Coach Brown is leaving behind a lasting legacy.
I think Mac knew it was, it was time for a change, and I, I can respect that. He's done a lot for the university, and I mean, I think it's time to move on. It doesn't come as a, as a surprise because there's been so many rumors, but I mean, he has a great legacy here, but ultimately I think it's going to be good for our football team. The students I talked to who said they weren't planning on going to the Alamo Bowl are certainly changing their mind. They know this will be the last time to see Mac Brown as head coach on the UT sidelines. Reporting live on campus, Cassie Gallo, KI TV News. All right, Cass fans and former players sharing their feelings on Coach Brown. Later in sports, more players respond. You'll hear from B.J. Johnson, Hodges Mitchell, and Casey Stutter as Mac Brown announces he will step down after 16 years as Texas head football coach.